My name is Ralph Gambardella. I'm an orthopedic sports medicine surgeon at the Curlin Joke Clinic, and today we're going to talk about meniscal tears. The meniscus is basically a pad that sits between the top bone and the bottom bone of your knee, and you have two pads that look like the letter C, one on one side, one on the other and they can tear with usually a twist or torque injury to the knee, or they can tear just from age. Typically, the meniscus does not have good blood flow, so the knee will hurt after an injury. It may swell a little bit, but it won't get really swollen. But what you'll notice is that every time you think you're better, you'll go to do something and you notice that it bothers you again. Meniscus tear uh, is one of the most common ailments in the human being. If you're 20 years old, usually you have to have a significant twist injury and you will have pain and you will know that you did something. As we get older, it may be that we don't even remember necessarily an injury. It may have been that final getting up out of bed or getting out of the car and all of a sudden you get that kind of ripping feeling again because you finally tear something more. Most people, if they have a meniscus tear, because the meniscus tear does not heal, will be left with a quality of life decision. If it gets in the way of their sports activities, their work activities, then they will have to have an arthroscopic surgery performed because the meniscus does not heal. Arthroscopic surgery for meniscus, we usually say two to three months to go back to full sports. The thing that people must remember is that the majority of time we have to remove a portion of the meniscus. It's not a repair and therefore the area where the meniscus was will start to wear out a little bit more rapidly. Once the meniscus is mechanically torn, it stays torn unless the tear is in the periphery where the blood flow is. And statistically speaking, 95% of all tears are non-repairable.